Debbie Starr coming back at you. Uh, yesterday or in the previous video, uh, I showed you how easy it was to get started with go high level slash high level uh, or whatever white label program you might be using uh, with that all-in-one marketing. So as I said, it is a huge beast, this all-in-one program that can do lots of things, which is great, right? Uh, but uh, it's so easy to just kind of get caught up in uh, trying to learn everything. And then at the end of the day, end of the week, end of the month, you still don't have your product or service launched. So in these short little videos, I'm just showing you what to focus on first, build one little thing, go to the next and the next. So follow along with me. Let me just uh, shrink this down here a little bit. And what I want to show you, this is just a simple uh, opt-in uh, lead magnet page. And uh, a couple of things, let's see, can I shrink this down even more? A couple of things that I want to mention. Number one, this is a super simple lead magnet page. Guess what? super effective also. Uh, we have a tendency to overthink and when you put something out in the world, people just want it. They say, give it to me. They don't want to have to jump through a lot of hoops. So this particular lead magnet, uh, I talk about uh, a particular thing and then people raise their hand and say, yeah, I want it. And then they come to this page. Now this is a two-parter. What I mean by that is they could click on this button and actually watch the video training. It's a short little training and they want more. Here's the magic. Uh, I've created the little, what I call the digital stack, the really juicy thing. So they watch the video and in the video I'm making reference to this. So of course they want to get the handout. So they click here and you know they just have a simple little opt-in form. So how easy is that? Now you could reverse it. You could, uh, you know, have the handouts without the video. You could have handouts and then if they wanted the training. Uh, I find that just watching a short little training video is the most effective way. Uh, but again, it's not rocket science. Uh, whatever works for you. What's effective about this is it tells them the benefit of why they want this little handout. And again, super simple. Now you could shrink this video down a little bit or shrink the heading down just a little bit, um, you know, so that they could see this. Or you could put it in two columns. You could have the little handouts and then the video here. Here's the deal, kiddos. Don't spend a lot of time overthinking it. And the whole purpose is I want to just show you how easy it is to get started building one of these. So let's let's jump over to high level and I will just show you how easy it is to create this. Now, if you want this just built out of the box, then use my affiliate link, uh, jump into high level and have this uh, awesome little thing already built for you and you can hit the ground running. All right, so I will meet you over at uh, my builders page. Okay, so I am inside of the builders page as of this date anyway, over here on the left is where uh, basically the main components are. So I clicked on sites and then here is one of my uh, uh, page sites or funnel sites here, okay? And I've got the opt-in for the lead magnet, the confirmation uh, and so on. So uh, I can just edit this and um, let me do that first, I think, and then we will just build, quickly build one so you can see how easy it is. Okay, uh, I'll just kind of move this here. So if you're new to this world, basically uh, these funnel pages are built out in what we call sections. So it's kind of like that little stackable little dolls that you used to get and you'd pull them apart and you'd keep getting more and more. So uh, each, uh, each funnel page is build, built with sections. So you notice I click on this and I get the little green around it showing that it's a section. Then if I hover over, then the next thing is a row. So you have a section, then you have a row. Then within the row, 
you've got columns and either it's one column or you can have two columns if three and so forth then within the column then you put in the individual components it might be a headline it might be an image it might be whatever it is okay now if we look at this we've got one section we come down we've got um, another section another one this section here is uh, I'm trying to find the little green so I can show you there it is uh, it has a real light blue background so it's kind of nice to have different colors on each section and then your footer down here and the footer basically could be a global element that you could use on all of your pages so uh, what I mean by that is a template within a template all right and that's all you have to do so I'm going to go back out I don't want to mess up that one right and I'm just going to add a new step here now you would be creating a brand new funnel okay so I'm just gonna say uh, test three for landing page okay the path this is what people see when they type in the the funnel URL okay so um, star funnels forward slash uh, goals okay so if I had an opt-in for a goal sheet or something so I'm just gonna say test goals all right and then I'm going to create that and then uh, you just decide how you want your page to look so here's our blank page so I'm going to edit it and again remember I said let's see can I move this out of the way I think I can so remember I said that it starts with sections and then rows and then you add your elements and then your sections can be you know like from left to right or you can have some padded white space again we're not going to go too deep into the woods the purpose is not for you to learn everything there is I just want you to build this landing page and uh, get going so I'm just going to say a full section and then there's my section if we come back over here to my example you'll notice that I have uh, four lines of text I'm just going to mimic that all right so then the first thing I do I have to add a row and this is where you know is it all singular lines or is it multi-column I'm just going to add a column and now I add my element and in that example I have like smaller text headline uh, headline or it could be a sub headline smaller text and you can modify all of these as much as you want so I'm just going to put in a uh, paragraph um, and I'm just gonna say simple statement here if you come over here to the left this is where you can uh, modify things you know you can make things a little bigger you can just type it here if you want so let me just make it 20 and see how it made it bigger all right so now if we look at the next one looks like this is a headline so I'm going to come back over here and now here's a little shortcut I as I hover over this paragraph I can click plus and it takes me back to the elements so I'm going to put a headline here um, master headline okay again over here on the right you can change the colors you can change the padding the spacing but we're going for speed here okay so I'm gonna hover over this I'm going to add a sub headline okay see how quick you're building your page and then you know maybe one more if I wanted uh, so let's just add one more and I'll just make it um, tiny text okay how's that for creative <laughs> all right so uh, we had that first section done now in this example uh, section one and section two both have a, a white background again you can do anything you want if I hover over the section I can change the background color okay uh, or uh, I'm just gonna change it to white um, if I hover over the column I could change the background color of that okay 
and just so you can see the difference I will change the colors okay so you can modify everything very granularly again we're just playing around here so you can see how easily it is you can get started now the example that I showed you, this is actually a second section. You could keep it in the same section. It's nice to have multiple sections because then you can apply formatting just to that whole section. So as you see here, I added a background color to that section. If this was part of it, it would also have the yellow and I don't want that. So again, I could just click the plus sign and I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to click the plus sign. I'm going to, you know what, I think I'm going to do a two column. We're going to change this up just a little bit. Uh, I'm going to come over here to the one on the right. I'm going to add an element. And what am I going to add? I am going to add the video. So let me just find the video. Everything keeps getting uh, updated. So sometimes, there it is. I go right past it. And then there's my video. When I've got this selected, uh, if I come over here, I can change like the size of the video. And here it's asking for the, the URL of that video. Okay, so uh, I don't have it uh, in front of me right now, but you just paste your YouTube video or you can uh, use Vimeo, Wissio, you can embed things, okay? Uh, so we'll just leave it as YouTube for right now. You could have it autoplay if you want. Look, we're going for speed and not fancy, so this is good enough. Now over here to the left, I'm going to add elements. This time I am going to add an image. And the image, remember I said here, uh, I wanted this video kind of front and center, and then I have this down here. The reason I have this down here is because I'm uh, talking about the benefits of why they should sign up for that. But if I wanted them to see the handouts, then click on that and then I'm going to add a quick image and you can either upload it or I might already uh, have it uh, in here and let me just add one of my digital stacks and here it is. Okay, so do you see how quick and easy? Let me save this just so I don't uh, <laughs> uh, forget to do it. So as you can see here, the first column, or I'm sorry, the first section had a yellow background. This one has a white background. Now, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to, uh, right underneath the video, I'm going to click on that. And let's just add a button. And I'm just going to ask them to, hey, you want to go ahead and uh, opt in? So, or, uh, you know, grab the handouts, go ahead and do that. So I'm just looking for the button. There it is. So I'm just going to add the button there. So there's the button. I can change the background color of the button. Uh, and then you can uh, change, uh, you can, uh, you can do, you can change the font. You can change what they call the little uh, icon next to it, the color of the background. You can change the text. Um, get the handouts. Okay. And then what do you want to link it to? So the easiest thing is link it to an opt-in form, which I'll show you in the next video. You could link it to another a full opt-in page if you want. Here's the deal. You want fast and easy uh, if it is a lead magnet because, uh, you know, the bounce rate is very high and you don't want people bouncing off. You want them to consume this content and uh, sign up for it. All right. Uh, if I wanted, I could put like a, a little, you'll notice over here, I've got like a, a bigger image here. So I could just put a small little arrow. I could put a little, you know, the little finger pointing emoji here if I wanted. Uh, do whatever you want. All right. Now I'm going to uh, add. So again, I could just click down here to add a section. Or if you come up here, um, you can just click the plus sign. So either way, you can do it. All right. So I'm going to add a section. And I'm just going to add one at the bottom. Sometimes when you're kind of near the bottom of the page, it's kind of hard to see. But there it is here. All right. I'm going to change the color of this one just so you can see uh, what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to add a row. And... 
I'm going to add uh, my text um, and I'm just gonna say like starfunnels.com um, copyright etc etc okay I could do that uh, I could dress it up however I want it right or what you could do spend some time and actually create one that becomes what we call a global section the beauty of a global section is if you're building out a funnel that has uh, you know the the opt-in page and then the thank you page and all of that you could create this uh, section one time and copy it over to all of those pages in that funnel you could also create what we call section templates and a template means you could use it on anything that you build all right so I actually clicked on section templates and I know some place in here I think I have um, let me look and a little tip sometimes I name things with star consulting or the initials so that I can find things quickly and so here I've got um, a test footer here uh, so I'm just gonna grab that and I'm gonna just drag it right there so you can see it and I'm gonna change the background color again uh, crazy colors here whoops we'll make it lighter um, so there it is so once and this uh, points to like my terms and condition points to my website all of that kind of stuff so you can see by using these global elements or these templates makes it super easy so I'm just going to save this uh, when you save it you need to fill out the SEO data we're not going to get too wound up about that right now basically you need to give it a page name and the author all of that kind of stuff all right so we're going to save it and then if you click the little eyeball up here it just gives you a preview so let me move my head out of the way and there it is there is your uh, lead magnet page I mean how long did that take us 20 minutes uh, it's not rocket science again the very powerful program uh, high level is but don't overthink it all right just build out take a look at what other people are doing and you can quickly build these uh, pages out and uh, let me just kind of come back front and center as as I mentioned if you want to jumpstart then you can certainly sign up for my uh, go high level uh, using my affiliate link and I will give you these templates so out of the box all you need to do is put your content in and you are ready to rock and roll okay well thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video Take care.